Like it or not, if you're displaying copyrighted lyrics in a worship service, you really need to have permission. Now, the easiest way, at least in the U.S. and several other countries, is with an organization called CCLI, Church Copyright Licensing International. But one thing they require is that you show attribution and your CCLI number on each slide. So how do you do that in ProPresenter? Well, let's head over to my computer and I'll show you. So here we are in ProPresenter and I'm not using a copyrighted song because I just, first off, I don't have a CCLI license myself. My church does, but this wouldn't be covered by it anyway. Secondly, I just want to err on the side of caution. But let's say that you wanted to uh, show your CCLI information. Of course, you could type, add a slide and type it in manually. You could do that. But there's a built-in ability in ProPresenter 7 for how to do that. So uh, first, let's right-click and go to Edit Slide. And you'll notice that I have some different information here. So I could just go through and fill out all this uh, information. Um, I decided that I was only going to show the title. So let me do that right there. And you would think that just clicking the display copyright checkbox here would do it. But what you should think about is ProPresenter allows you maximum flexibility. So the reason that that doesn't work is because there's a global on and off as well as just on a song by song basis. So, for example, if you were displaying this song, which is public domain, you don't have to display the copyright information because it's public domain. And uh, the Wesley brothers, who were responsible for getting this out, they have been with Jesus for a while, so they don't really care that you use their uh, music anymore. So, make sure that that's checked. Make sure that you have this set up. Then you'll also need to go into up here to ProPresenter Preferences and to General. Now, notice here in General, we have where this lives. You know, it could be the first slide, could be the last slide, could be first and last slides, could be all slides. I'm going to leave it on all slides, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. This is probably not what you would do, but... Should you need um, to do something else, this would work for you. So then you need to go to Enable Copyright Display. Now, once you've done that, you're probably going to want to tweak the layout. So let's click on CCLI Layout. And you'll notice that we have tokens. These are like variables in math. And with these tokens, you can uh, put different stuff into the template. So... I'm just going to leave it just as title because that's the only thing that I have over here right now. But in all likelihood, you'd need the CCLI license number and stuff. You know, just if I wanted to put that there and so on. And I could rearrange these however I want to. So I'm going to actually delete the license number. And now for the next step in our process, we need to go into Edit Template. Now, if I close that out, you'll see that I have uh, created a template here. It's very similar to how the editor works, but there is a key difference. You need to absolutely make sure that you go down here to uh, Source, check, uh, check Linked Text there, and also make sure that it is set to CCLI. If not, so if I uh, were to change that to something else, which it should be set that way by default, so um, then it would show up any text that's in here and 
know, by default it has example, title, uh, author, etc. information. I just typed the word title in there just so that it was uh, fairly obvious what that was. So now, with all of that enabled, with um, the text set up and set to link to the CCLI, if I go back to show and click again on this, you'll notice the title's up here. And it continues no matter what. And it's not showing up here because this is the CCLI information. The reason that I'm showing you this is, let's say at your church, you want to always show the title. You could absolutely use this CCLI capability to always show the title with the song and then add the actual CCLI information as a slide by itself. So that's how you use CCLI information in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my online church tech training community where these lessons and other live trainings are released in advance and sometimes quite often exclusively. So head over to churchtechu.com. That's church tech spelled the normal way, the letter U, short for university.com, and find out more information there. Also, if it's not right for you right now, you still probably want to join my email uh, newsletter list because I am send out all the specials and uh, bonuses to that list first so that you can join when it is right for you. Until then, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.